What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are doing a little bit of a story time. Um, I recently just got into my first car accident. So I figured I'd come on here and tell you guys about what happened. So let's get on to it. Alright guys, so I figured first I would come outside, show you guys my car. Because I also have some pictures that I'm going to insert in this video. Um of when the actual accident happened because I brought it home and I had someone pull some of the um, bumps or not the bumps some of the um, dents out already so this is not as bad as my car looked yesterday when it actually happened so here is my car like I said um, these are the damages I rear-ended somebody yesterday it was definitely totally my fault, but we'll get into, like I said, a story time about what happened. I'm not going to get into detail now. Just showing you guys the damages. So yeah, that is my car. Um, she's not in too bad of shape. The only thing that's really wrong with it is body damage. I'm definitely fortunate to not have told my car, so I'm fortunate to still have my vehicle. Um, um, but I already have new parts and stuff for my car, I already have a new fender, um, in the house, I already have new headlights ordered, Oop. I already have new headlights ordered, um, they should be in by Thursday or Friday morning or evening, one of the two, Thursday evening or Friday morning, I believe, um, so she'll be back to good before I know it. It just sucks that I had to spend all this money that I didn't want to because I definitely wanted to invest it into my house um, because I just paid off my credit card. I am 100% officially out of credit card debt. I had just paid it off. The payment had just came out of my account. Um, not yesterday, but the day prior to my car accident. And then the very next day, I get into a car accident after paying my credit card off. But that is okay because I am in a good predicament to where I won't have to really hopefully go in any debt or too much debt or you have to use my credit card again. Um, but yeah, let's get into story time on exactly what happened. Alright guys, so story time now that I showed you my car. Um, so the way that I rear-ended somebody, because that's what happened, I ended up rear-ending uh, somebody else. So I was coming down to work, I was like five minutes away from where I parked my car for my job. Um, I was, so I was coming down the road um, this way and the road connects in a three-way manner like this um, it's not like a four-way like this it's literally a three-way there's traffic this way and then a connecting road this way well there's two people in the turn lane here to turn onto the road going this way well I was getting ready to come through the intersection at the light and the first car darted through which was fine they had you know enough room clearance whatever well, the second car behind them was like tailgating them, so I wasn't sure if they seen me or not because the way that they were motioning their car looked like they were pro uh, about to dart through before I made it through the intersection. And if they would have tried to dart through before I made it through the intersection, I would have ended up T-boning them um, because they just didn't have enough distance or clearance. So being the fact that I was paying attention to them, honestly, I wasn't paying full attention to what was right in front of me. Um, because I was looking kind of to the side here. So by the time I turned back to what was in front of me to pay attention directly head on, I didn't realize, realize traffic had come to a complete stop. Um, so when I did, I slammed on my brakes as hard as I could. I turned my wheel to the left to try to cut it so I could end up in the um, turn lane medium because there was cones over here with people working and then there was oncoming traffic here and then a little turn lane in the middle of me and the oncoming traffic. There was a small turn lane, um, which the lady had been sitting in, but you know, she had already turned at this point now that I went through the light. Um, so I tried to veer into the turn lane, but I still ended up clipping her um, back end anyway. My car got most of the damage. Um, I literally have to replace my fender. I have to buff out the hood a little bit because there's a dent in the hood. I gotta pull out the um, dents in the bumper. But if these, uh, those can't be pulled out, then I'll probably have to replace my bumper. I have to replace my headlights now because I'm not just going to do one. i got to do both because uh, one will be bright and shiny and the other will be dull and not really able to use. So I might as well get both of them. And so I ordered those. 
Um, and on her car, she literally has like one little corner panel on her driver's side that she has to replace. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just, it doesn't matter about the damages because cars are replaceable. I'm 100% thankful that neither me or the her, uh, party involved got injured. Um, and neither of our cars got totaled. Like, cars, like I said, cars are replaceable, but it's just still good that we were both able to leave with our vehicles. Granted, mine needs some work. It's my fault, you know? Um, I'll be as careful as I can next time. I was already being as careful as I could be, but I will try to be even more careful than I was. Um, you can never be too vigilant or careful on the road. So, yeah, that's really, <laughs> really all it is to the story time. Um, I just want to remind, like I said, everybody to be safe, vigilant on the road. Don't be going out and just mad speeding or just ignoring road signs or just doing whatever you feel like on the road because it can be dangerous even when you try your hardest to be a safe driver you can never be too safe um and it happens to the best of us this was my first accident i've had my car or i've had my license for almost three years now so i feel like you know i think i did really good most people get into their first car accidents like within the first few months to a year of owning their vehicle and i think I did pretty good, um, and like I said, it's just a learning experience, and I'll move on from here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my story time on how I rear-ended somebody and got into my first car accident. Until next time, babes, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy. Peace, my loves.